This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, for me, I've never understood glory hunters. I've never quite understood that. And I've seen it through football, for example. Now, for me, I'm a Newcastle United fan. I support them win, lose or draw for my sins. But during my lifetime, of course, I've seen, say, Manchester United dominate the Premier League. And then suddenly when Arsenal came along and started going through with their French Revolution, people were no longer supporting Manchester United, they were supporting Arsenal. Then they jumped ship to Chelsea and whatever else. Glory hunters. I've never quite understood that. And the same thing applies in boxing. When Anthony Joshua lost to Andy Ruiz Jr., a lot of boxing fans, they suddenly stopped supporting Anthony Joshua. When Deontay Wilder lost, a lot of Wilder fans suddenly stop supporting Wilder. I understand that point if the reason was because of his excuses. I get that point. But you don't just stop supporting somebody because they take a loss. They took a loss, not you. And your favourite fighter needs you to support them. Okay? Now, your favourite fighter is not always going to win. We've seen it with Ricky Hatton. We saw it with Prince Nassim Hamid, with Nigel Benn, with Lennox Lewis and Frank Bruno. We all remember those days, or most of us who are a certain age, of course. But back in the days of when you had like Muhammad Ali, he took losses. All fighters take losses, except, of course, Floyd Mayweather. But he's an exception to the rule. Manny Pacquiao is taking how many losses? But one of the good things about Manny Pacquiao fans is that they still support him. But that's a rare occasion. For me, I've never quite understood it, because all I'm seeing on social media, over on Twitter, is... People who's been supporting Anthony Joshua, oh, that's it, I've had enough, I'm not watching boxing anymore. Why, because your favourite fighter lost? That says more about your character than anything else. What happened to the days of supporting your favourite fighter through thick and thin? What, they win, you win? They lose, you lose? Is that, is that how emotional people get? I've never quite understood that. Don't get me wrong, Anthony Joshua losing tonight to Alexander Usyk sucks okay as an anthony joshua fan it sucks my favorite fighters such as dylan white i've seen him lose twice now both by knockout did i abandon him no of course not anthony joshua before his career is finished will probably end up taking a couple more losses dylan white may well do tyson fury hasn't lost yet the longer he continues he will at some point John Tay Wilder, if he was to continue for a bit more, he will take losses. Everybody takes, takes losses. It's sport. On any given night, especially with the heavyweight division, you can lose. Now, Anthony Joshua, as I said in the previous video there about him activating the rematch, he'll know what he done wrong. He'll know. And he will put it right. Would it be a case of that he will make changes in his team, for his corner team, his training camp? Maybe. Maybe. And I know that that seems to be the go-to reason for a lot of boxing fans when their favourite fighter loses, you need to change your trainer. Will he change Rob McCracken? I don't know. Should he leave Rob McCracken? I don't know, is the answer. Only Joshua knows that. But again, it, I mean, it is important to remember as well that Rob McCracken wasn't with Anthony Joshua throughout the whole camp. Because obviously he was with the Olympic team. For GB. That's Rob McCracken's first job. Okay. But at the same time, why not? Should he leave Rob, um, Rob McCracken? Maybe. Or maybe not. We see Lennox Lewis, of course, when, when uh, he lost. When he lost to Oliver McCall. He went to Oliver McCall's trainer, Manny Stewart. Look at the relationship that these guys built. So maybe Joshua can do that. Maybe he can find someone else. Or maybe, maybe he can stay with... Um, Rob McCracken stay loyal to him like he did after the Ruiz first fight. It worked out for him then. But again, losing to Alexander Usyk is no shame. I don't understand that, why people are shocked by it. Nobody should be shocked by it. I mean, if you've been watching boxing for a long time, you shouldn't be shocked by it. You really shouldn't. I'm not shocked by it. Of course, I'm upset for Anthony Joshua. Of course I am. But at the same time, I recognise how good Alexander Usyk is. Many of you do as well, okay? But again, of course, there's going to be some extreme fans. There's going to be some casual fans. There's going to be some hardcore fans. There's going to be all different kinds of fans, okay? This is the DNA. This is the makeup of boxing fans, okay? But 
Much like I've just seen a post from MTK Global, Tyson Fury now is legitimately the number one heavyweight in the world. Now, sure, maybe he is. But you can't give one man credit for another man's work. As in, you can't give Tyson Fury credit for Alexander beating Joshua. Much like a lot of the Deontay Wilder fans were giving Wilder credit for Andy Ruiz Jr. beating Anthony Joshua. When Tyson Fury demolished Deontay Wilder, and nobody out there saying, well, let's give Anthony Joshua credit for that. Again, this seems to be the mentality of a lot of boxing fans. And rightfully or wrongly, I don't know. But you should support your guy no matter what. That's the point of it. And if you're just a glory hunter, don't come back on the ship. Do not jump back on the ship. When Joshua activates his rematch, and he will. And if he beats out um, Alexander Usyk, which I believe that he will. Don't jump back on the ship. Stay off that ship. If you're only here to watch Anthony Joshua and support Anthony Joshua when he's winning, Joshua probably don't want you. Same with like Tyson Fury. If he was to lose to Wilder in the rematch, in this third fight, Fury fans, don't go jumping ship on him. Support him. Because this is really where... Fans prove that they are fans of that particular fighter. And there's nothing wrong with being fans. I know some people will put, put themselves in the category of, well, I'm a boxing fan before any, anybody else. And that's absolutely fine. And I, th I think most people are for the most part, um, for the most time. But at the same time, we all have our favourite fighters, don't we? Of course we do. For me, it's br British fighters. That, and I've seen my British fighters lose many, many times. But I don't just turn my back on them. I will get realistic with them and say, you know what, maybe it's time to uh, make some changes or maybe it's time to hang up your gloves. But what you don't do is turn your back on them. And I've seen it a lot on social media from, of course, a lot of them will be just casual boxing fans who only tune in while Anthony Joshua is winning. They see it as when he wins, they win. But in reality, he's getting paid absolutely millions. And he's going to get paid absolutely millions for the rematch. The rematch will be bigger than the first fight. Your bills are still going to be exactly the same tomorrow morning. So as I said before, this is the time when your favourite fighter needs you. If you're a huge Anthony Joshua fan, don't turn your back on him. Because as I said before, that says more about your character than, any, than anything else. That shows how weak a character and person that you are compared to Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is a warrior. He is a warrior. He got outboxed tonight. Okay, it happens, it happens, okay, but you still support him. Same with Wilder, you still support him. Maybe not, maybe if you don't because of the excuses, okay, cool. But with Tyson Fury, if he loses, support him. Because at the end of the day, we can criticise them, we can make our thoughts known about certain fighters and, and certain situations, but at the end of the day, they are all warriors really, aren't they? They do something that you and I couldn't do. Well, some of you could. Of course you could. But for me, could I get in there in front of thousands of people put on a boxing match? Nope. Not on your life. Not on your life. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.